All right, our next inductor, he is a fellow New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer, Sonny Goodspeed. And Sonny will be inducting fabulous Johnny Vegas. Thank you. So, uh, I don't know if you guys know Johnny Fabulous. His son is uh, John Cena. Wrong. John, stand up. Wrong John. Never mind. Johnny Vegas. He's all right, I guess. He does stuff. <laughs> Completely wrong guy. I have nothing written. No material. Tito, how are you? We had a phone conversation one time, you and I. I didn't put you over at all on the phone call at all. I was just looking for a booking. You didn't help me. So, there's heat. No, I'm not kidding. Seriously, there's heat. Why are you laughing? I'm dead serious. Johnny Vegas, not the biggest guy. You know, 5'9", 170 pounds or so. 170, 169 pounds, he told me. 171, sorry. But uh, for the dollar, one of the most entertaining guys I've ever seen. Being in the, oh, I say I'm being in the business. I, I work on weekends, I wrestle on weekends. I'm, I've done nothing that you guys have done. And uh, I feel silly sitting up, sitting up here because I've sold out, no, I haven't sold out anything. I've, I've wrestled in front of half sold out VFWs and you guys have worked at Madison Square Garden. I, I, don't, I, I feel honored being up here just in your presence. Chief J, how are you? How's things, good, good. Uh, I just want to make sure you're still with us, John. You, you looked a little sleepy. <laughs> We've got the O'Reilly brothers here. I never saw you guys. I'd never heard of you guys before, honestly with you. Uh, but Johnny Vegas, so honestly, God, for, the, for the dollar, the most entertaining guy I've ever seen. Uh, somebody, if I wasn't doing this, I would pay upwards of $5 to go see. I really, I would. I would. Uh, John, I, I got nothing else to say. Great, great things. If you were just 100 pounds heavier, you'd be 271 pounds. But, uh, John, come on up. All right. Yeah, thanks. Because of him that I'm in this business, so I don't know whether to thank you or to give you a punch. Driving up and down the roads in a car filled with three other smelly guys and you get to go into the locker room and see more naked guys. It's just a, a great business that we're in. But it is because of Sonny that I'm in this and because of you guys here. Rick Martell, Tito Santana, the Duke of Dorchester, Pete Doherty. And the legend, Chief J. Strongbow. When I was a kid, I purposely grew my hair long just so I could do that Chief J. Strongbow head thing, you know. I would do that thing, my hair would be down there. And I tell you, I gave the best chops in the fifth grade at St. Monica's school, I tell you that much. Yeah, yeah I was... I lost some of that hair though. Yeah. I was tough in St. Monica's though, I tell you that much. The nuns, they were afraid of me. After a while. I got tougher. I'm not the biggest, but I was the toughest. Fifth grade, St. Monica's. Sister Julie still won't talk to me. Knocked that habit right off her head. That's the way it goes. I'm a lot tougher than I look. You know, so after a while they started to look like you, Mr. Doherty. I gave them a shot. And Sister Bernadette now, she walks around with her mouth, the hand over her mouth, you know, she's missing a few teeth, you know what I mean? But you remember that, I think it was 1976 of the Frolics at Salisbury Beach, you wrestled Spiros Arion, and after the match, you signed an autograph for me. Do you remember that? <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. I'm like, Sonny has the heat with you. There's no heat with us, baby, no. He remembers the autograph he signed. Yeah, that was a few years ago. That was pretty cool. You know, I've been doing this for 15 years. Good thing I started when I was 12. Makes me 27. Shh, don't tell anybody. But I would like to thank, of course, anybody that I worked for or worked with. 
that were so kind to put up with me. And of course, uh, especially my wife, who lets me go out and play a lot, and she's here tonight, and we celebrate our 12th wedding anniversary tomorrow. <laughs> Somebody else mentioned, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes to be... You want to go out and play a lot, and the wife is like, hmm, where is it this time? How far is it? And how much are you getting paid? Paid? <laughs> yeah, we, we are in it for the money. We're all making a lot of money. Well, of course, you guys have already made it, but that's all right. But this is a great honor. I thank Joe Bruin. Thank you for even considering me. I, again, it's very humbling to be here with this talent. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great night, and it, it is uh, kind of ironic that the place we are at is Holy Ghost Brotherhood because wrestling is a brotherhood and I'm very proud to be part of that brotherhood. Thank you very much.